bank depositors' protests are crushed by the government. Chinese authorities on Sunday violently dispersed a peaceful protest by hundreds of depositors who sought in vain to demand their life savings back from banks that have run into a deepening cash crisis. Since April, four rural banks in China's central Henan province have frozen millions of dollars worth of deposits, threatening the livelihoods of hundreds of thousands of customers in an economy already battered by draconian COVID lockdowns. Anguished depositors have staged several demonstrations in the city of Zhengzhou, the provincial capital of Henan, over the past two months, but the demands have invariably fallen on deaf ears. On Sunday, more than 1,000 depositors from across China gathered outside the Zhengzhou branch of the country's central bank, the People's Bank of China, to launch the largest protests yet more than half a dozen protesters. The demonstration is among the largest that China has seen since the pandemic, with domestic travel limited by various COVID restrictions on movement. However, rows of security officers suddenly charged up the stairs and clashed with protesters who threw bottles and other small objects at them. The scene quickly descended into chaos as security officers dragged protesters down the stairs and beat those who resisted, including women and the elderly, according to witnesses in social media videos. One woman from eastern Shandong province said that she was pushed to the ground by two security guards who twisted and injured her arm. Many said they were shocked by the sudden burst of violence by the security forces. This is BBS News, a channel that provides the hottest and latest information. Goodbye and see you in the next video.